I am Little Rascal, aka Raz. Uh, <laughs> of course, we in my city, Houston, Texas. You yeah. Got a lot of Christian rap artists in my city, but it is my city. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were just talking. People may not know some of your history, so what's kind of the uh, the elevator pitch when you tell people what you well, done? Well, you you run into me, man. Of course, you know, I, I I'm a humble guy, and I bragging about being on move but I'm just yeah. saying so uh, a lot of people give me uh, the title of being one of the pioneers uh, started doing Christian rap in 1996 mm -hmm. uh, professionally you know not a guy with a demo I was actually out on the Christian rap shelves and uh, been with the game till now so uh, if you, I don't introduce myself hey I'm one of the pioneers yeah. or the legends <laughs> of the game that ain't how I come out but you know, been doing it a while, man. Love what I do. Yeah, and you even had records out before you got into the Christian market in, in the, the secular world. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I was uh, been a rap artist for over 20 years. Been uh, doing it for the Lord for about 17. So three years before I gave my life to the Lord, I was actually uh, one of the underground rappers here in Houston. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the stump, I had my first professional project. I was doing real well on the north side, and. Uh, God kind of snatched me out in the middle of all that. Yeah. Of course, Christian rap wasn't where it is now, so it wasn't. I didn't have a direction. Yeah. You know? Matter of fact, when I got saved, I didn't. I stopped rapping, and uh, I just felt led, you know, by uh, to continue doing it for the Lord, and it was unheard of then. Yeah. It, it wasn't sold out concerts <laughs> and packed stages and laser light shows back then. Yeah, it was grandmas waving a Bible, calling us <laughs> demons back then. <laughs> yeah, man, and um, you even uh, did kind of a, a worked in as a label head or an executive in the music business too, yep. with the BMG and yep. that sort of thing. So. Absolutely, I uh, actually uh, spent some time as executive for a, a company in Kingwood, distribution mm -hmm. company. Mm -hmm. I was like an A and R slash uh, project manager for them. And uh, started my own label back when the crash of Grape Tree, and I still do. You know, I get emails from artists all the time about joining my roster, and I haven't just been active. You know, yeah. I haven't been 100% uh, active like like you Reach Records or some of the other labels that's out there. So mm -hmm. maybe yeah. that'll change at 14. <laughs> yeah, and even went back to school to get your degree. I know. Yep, I hold a bachelor's degree in political science. Yeah. People say why. Uh, <laughs> Uh, my long-term goal is to do law school, of course. You know, anybody who want to do law school looked into it. You know, it's 20 G's a year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, plus a lot of time, you know. Yeah. And I hadn't dedicated, decided to dedicate that type of money or time into it. So, I went to school to get a uh, degree in political science. Two routes you go to take law, either uh, criminal justice or political science. I grew up in the hood, so I didn't see enough crime, so I decided to take the opposite route. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you went back and you finished your degree at the same place where you started it before you started Absolutely. rapping, yeah? Absolutely, I'm a, I am a giant killer. Uh, I dropped out of uh, University of Houston downtown in 1992 and uh, to do rap music, mm -hmm. and I succeeded. Uh, you know, didn't take the route I thought. I was a mainstream artist when I dropped out, and of course God saved me, and. Uh, became you know name known name in the christian rap industry nominated for double awards and all that so yeah when i reached what i thought was the plateau in that i decided to go back to college man and i wanted to go back to the same hill that i left <laughs> and i could have went to any other school like nowadays you could take online classes yeah in your pajamas doing I, that's crazy to me but <laughs> i wanted to go back to the same hill that i left and that's what i did yeah I, and you talked about getting more involved, kind of getting back into music. I know you did a couple performances recently, and you got a, yeah. an album coming out soon. Yeah. So tell me about that. Yep. I uh, just uh, recently finished up the Five Feet Mogul mixtape. So weeks, days after you see this interview, you probably <laughs> uh, can go download it, of course. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, about to get active again, man. I've never been completely inactive. Mm -hmm. uh, went through a season in time to where you know, at one point in time when I was super little rascal mode, if you called me to rap at a kid's party, uh, a nursery party for <laughs> six months, you know, I would have done it. But uh, my last, I would say, 10 year stretch, 
Nah, about seven years stretch, man. I, I became a little bit harder to get to. And uh, just family and all that, no. Yeah. You know, you got horror stories or whatever. People have <laughs> horrors. I fell off and started drinking out. Oh, none of that, man. I've been serving no. God since <laughs> since I left the scene. But I just uh, be became harder to get to and uh, didn't take as many bookings. But recently I picked up on that, man, because I, I, you know, my endeavor now is to go back in it full time. You know? Yeah. Yeah, and still married to the same woman. Got same woman, crew of 16, kids. sixteen years, kids yeah. getting ready to lunch off to college and all that. So if you heard fake rumors, I know you know my counterpart, New One. I don't know how many y'all know about him. He somewhere mm -hmm. <laughs> floating around here, and he you know did me back into uh, you know the mainstream and people. You know they passed together. If wine did it, I must have been doing yeah. it too since they ain't heard about it. But never that, man. Yeah, I've been uh, you know serving the Lord since 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 1995. Actually, is when I got saved. I haven't turned back it up. Yeah, and we were talking earlier about um, not that you're an old man, but you've had to transition to a little bit of a big the younger brother to the big brother status, and yeah. and you see guys coming up do. Do some guys that are just getting into it kind of hit you up for advice or all the time, yeah. man? I, I get uh, emails weekly mm -hmm. uh, concerning uh, some guys who who not in the music. I mean, not as far as rappers or not in the music industry. They'll email me and tell me that hey, it was your CD that you know helped me through a hard spot. Yeah. Or I get people, you know, guys, us. For the, the art, artists, you know, the CHH artists, man, they hit me up, doing the same thing, encouraging me, man, just saying, you know, appreciate you for still being in there, hanging in there, and uh, man, what would you, what kind of advice would you give to me and all that? Mm -hmm. And the same advice I give to anybody, man. I don't have no long throwing out uh, curriculum to give you, man. It's just trust God and stay faithful. Yeah. If you can do that, man, you you win in the end, you know. And I see mainstream dudes do that. You know, I see some of the dudes who have no talent. They'll stick at it, and then all of a sudden they're dancing across MTV and BET. Yeah. And if they can do it, of course we can do it, because we got, you know, we got the most high with us. So. Yeah. So what's your take on the state of Christian hip-hop these days? Or, I, I like where it is, man. Yeah. Honestly, man. I, I hear a lot of people, you know, fans that was in our era, complain about where it is now mm -hmm. because back in our era we was more coming out turn to burn and teaching and all that man but i like where it is i always saw this coming matter of fact you know it's like a sale you know it gets so big and then it, it breaks and it buds out you know i kind of like the fact that we can you can go to a, a christian hip-hop concert just for entertainment man mm -hmm. you know ain't nobody gonna break out and do an altar call you know sometimes they will but i like the fact you can go out and just be entertained by it now I, I like where it is now. I like the fact that you, you know, I was looking at some uh, tweets and posts, pictures from Instagram uh, on the, you know, the Unashamed tour, and these dudes got halls packed out, man. <laughs> yeah. That didn't exist when we was, you know, when we were in our heydays, man. I love to see that now, man. Yeah. You know, matter of fact, when I started rapping for the Lord, I think them was visions I got. I thought we would have them type, them size uh, concert. Yeah. I didn't know it'd be. Ten years later, I probably wouldn't. Yeah, I'd been like, "Nah, Lord, I, I don't want to do this." <laughs> yeah, but no, seriously, I remember like ten years ago, you and Pettity telling me you had dreams about a, a really live stage show and like pulling a car out or some yeah. lowrider thing yeah. on stage. Yeah, similar to the uh, you know Dre and Snoop Dogg in their heyday. Yeah, you know, pull out. I saw that type of stuff back then, you know, and it wasn't for the time when when you know I had my heights. You yeah, know? I, I'm not sure what's gonna happen, you know. Uh, she trying to parallel for yeah. she <laughs> run over us or whatever. But I don't, I'm not sure what's going to happen, man. Yeah. God gave me my youth, you know, download the uh, mixtape. You see, ain't no slipping the talent at all, man. So it still could be them days, you know. Yeah. Not just for the younger guys, but some of the guys that was doing it in my time, you know. Yeah. Those well, that still look as good as me. <laughs> right. <laughs> One of the other hot things um, is now people are seeing Lecrae do songs with guys like Paul Wall and yeah. Big Crit and... I mean, you did that back in the day, right. actually with Paul Wall, even in Slim Thug and some of those guys. Right. Well, you know what, man? I'm going to say this here, Skits, because yeah. I have a song on my mixtape, and it's called Texas, and it's about mm -hmm. rides. And and I communicated back and forth with Paul Wall on Twitter, and he was like, yeah, I'll jump on it, man. Hit my email, hit my phone, you know, my phone number. Mm -hmm. So I sent him the track, and I called him, but we never made it happen. And so, you know, the craziest drive, uh, what? 
church clothes too. Yeah. And he has the, you know, the power wall feature and it's about rides yeah. and all that. I'm like, you heard it here first. I didn't <laughs> I didn't copy that, man. <laughs> right. Yeah. I don't know, you know, great minds think alike. So, you know, that's that's a compliment to the crate. So yeah. when y'all hear the Texas song, y'all hear me talking about rides on my mixtape, man. I didn't copy that from the crate, man. Mm -hmm. It was actually a song that Power Wild was was supposed to feature on, but we just couldn't make it happen. You know? yeah. yeah. And your relationship with Paul Wall actually goes back. He kind of grew up even listening to you, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Paul Wall was, uh, he was a member of uh, a friend of mine who was a youth pastor. He was a member of his youth, youth group. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he was introduced to me. He was happy to hear my music, man. It, you know, invited me over to his house, meet his mom and all. As a matter of fact, when his mom still see me, she, you know, it's like, no time has been in between that, man. Yeah. So yeah, you know, Power Wall, uh, Slim Thug, same. You know, mm -hmm. he wasn't in the youth group. Quote me on saying that. I, you know, I know you. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna get tweets or whatever. You know, but Slim Thug knew me from uh, from Northside. Man. Yeah. And uh, he knew me BC before I got saved and now. So some of these guys on the Houston scene, they know me well out here. Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Well, anything else? Five foot mogul mixtape. So, nah, that's it, man. Y'all. Yeah. Uh, Y'all uh, serve Jesus, pick up the music, man. And if you ever uh, follow me, follow me on Twitter at Five Foot Mogul. Uh, that's Instagram. Mm -hmm. Twitter is uh, at Lil Rascal. Uh, Facebook, Lil Rascal or Delbert Harris, whatever page you want to get on, man. Yeah. Cool.